Hey guys, Mike here for a new tutorial. So today I will show you how to do this really cool effect made with motion page and the clip path CSS property. So like usual, I have my page already made with oxygen and we have this website to generate the clip path code for us. So first thing first, we will do a little animation with a big image here, quite a kind of opening animation. So this image as a class ImageFX, so it's easier to remember. And we will do a little animation with, uh, or we can use that one directly. So let's copy the code and let's use motion page for the animation. First thing we have to do is to select our image, okay, and the position from because the clip path doesn't have any, uh, is not in an uh, option here, we will use a custom property here, clip path, and pass the code. As you can see, it's already there. And we will animate it to this position. Let's copy it. So from to, we do the same, custom, clip path and pass the code. Let's check if it works. So if it doesn't work like this, it's because we need to add the percent with a zero. We have zero, zero here, zero, and I think that's it. Let's check it. Okay. So we we'll do a little scroll trigger animation okay not too bad let's change a little bit the start here from the zero and zero here 50 zero okay and then it will open like this not too bad let's save it If we want it to repeat, we can do it here, play, we start, and scroll back, or uh, do the reverse scroll back. So it's very simple animation, very simple example. You can use any shape you want. So it's not too bad. Okay, so now let's take care of the gallery. It looks pretty cool. So let's save the animation first. I will create a new one. Okay. We have our gallery here. Let's put the... Okay. So for the selector, I will use not this one. All right, the Oxy Gallery item contents. And we will directly go to motion page and create our animation. Small trigger. From, and we use that class. Okay, for the animation, we do a little uh, opening with the circle animation. Okay. Okay, we have that one here, so we do a little circle effect. Let's go back here. From, okay. So, once again, we use a clip path here. Second animation. From zero, so we add it. Zero percent. Okay. Two. Custom. Clip. Path. 
100%. Okay. If we test the animation, you can see they are all opening at the same time. So now let's play with the other option. Oh, first, what we want to do is to select trigger each iteration and evaluate. So they will do it. I need to click on life. Like this. Other option here, I want them to reverse. So when we play and when we come back, so they can play again. Okay. So what we can do now is to change a little bit here. All right, so, so we all start at the same time here. So what I want to do is to start only when they appear totally. So when they are fully visible, like this. Okay. So as you can see, they won't appear at the same time. I will change the start viewport to here, the start viewport, which is here. Let's put it to 100%. So it looks a bit better. So you know, like this. It's a bit like they appear randomly. If it's not, so I think it looks a bit better. OK, it's not too bad. Let's add another animation. I will duplicate that one and instead of using the clip path this time we remove it from and we omit it from the here and there we do a little scale scale animation 0 8 2 1 okay as you can see they zoom and move at the same time Five. Okay, not bad. A little uh, elastic effect. Let's try it again. With a little delay. And that's it. You just have to play with the animation, with, um, with the option. You can do some really cool stuff. I think we can even add a little uh, translate effect with that. Uh, not a translate, but a rotation. Well, it's a bit too much, I think, but uh, why not? No, it doesn't work here. Yeah. It sucks, actually. OK, so it is. So your turn to play with motion page and uh, see you in the next video.